Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated house tour. It'll also be my spring home tour. As you guys can see right here, this was supposed to be our formal living room. We ended up just making it as the kids' play area because they have so many large toys and we had nowhere to store them. So that is their play area. Then right next to their play area, we do have our dining room and this dining table we were gonna get rid of and buy a new one, but we decided to wait on that. So for now, we will be keeping this dining table, which is fine because it's still pretty new. Then over here to the corner in this little nook, I decided to make a little special area for my grandfather and best friend who passed away. So there are just pictures of them with a pretty little rock. And then I also have to hang up with this white wreath that I made up there. Over here is going to be our living room and the majority of things in this living room are new things that we purchased, furniture and decorations. So I am not done decorating, so it's looking a little bare. I still have to hang things up on the wall and just a little more few things that I'm going to put up on the tables. I just haven't had a chance to. But right here is just a coffee table with a tray from Target and a candle and then that little jar with eggs also from Target. And then our little fireplace mantle, I have a bloom sign with a Hello Spring and then the two little bunnies, all that I purchased from the Target dollar spot. And this is our new lovely couch that I love. It's so soft and comfortable. It also reclines through the chairs recline. You can also charge your phone on it, which is pretty cool. Next here, this beautiful painting. We still have to hang up. We haven't gotten a chance to hang it up, but we bought it in Maryland and we love it. So we're planning on hanging up right here. And over here is going to be the guest bathroom. The guests do have their own shower and bathroom, which I love because in our old house, they had to share it with the kids, which I hated. So now they have their own bathroom. And check out this wallflower, guys. I love this wallflower. It is so pretty. I bought it from Bath and Body Works and I am obsessed. And then in this room, this is the guest bedroom. We are still not done with it. We need a night table or a nightstand. And then I wanna hang some stuff up on the wall, but this is the guest room for when we have guests stay with us. Now this is probably my favorite part of the house, which is the kitchen, because we did redo the kitchen. I will insert a photo of the kitchen of how it looked before, and I'll also link down below my home tour, my empty house tour. You guys will see how it looked, but we did redo this kitchen. Right here, this is my coffee slash tea table. We also have some alcohol up on there. And this is where I store all of my tea and my coffee. And then in here, I have a picture of when we went to Gatlinburg, I believe last year for Christmas. So I just have a picture of that with this little grow little pot with a little plant in it. And then these pretty mason jars I found on clearance for like $5. Then up here, we have some alcohol and some straws. These straws are so cute. I bought them from Target and some of them are paper and then the other ones are plastic and I just have them in a mason jar. And then below it are just some cute napkins. One says Happy Easter and then the other one says Spring is Here, also bought from Target. And then this is my Keurig, love it. I use it to make tea and coffee. Then over here, I just have my little jars that carry the tea, coffee, and sugar. And then my candle, you guys know I'm obsessed with candles. I have candles all around the house. And then right here in this corner, I have my wine fridge. I actually received this wine fridge from this company on YouTube. They sent me it and I was so happy to receive it. I just don't have many wine in there. I think I only have two bottles, but this is our kitchen. We redid the kitchen to white. I love white kitchens. It just brightens up the house and I am so glad that we did it. It was a very long process and very hard to do, but we did it and I'm so happy we did. We also did change out all of the appliances. All the appliances when we moved in were black. They are now stainless steel. Then I just have some decoration here up on the countertop. So as you saw, I had a bunny with carrots and my wax melt. 
right here is my favorite part the ice i love this ice i'm obsessed with sonic ice so we bought that ice machine and on top of the fridge i just have a wine rack and then this is our new fridge that we purchased over here i have a tray with some a candle and flowers they're fake flowers and then a jar with candy i bought that from the target dollar spot as well and over here in the corner i have my oil diffuser and then i have my little menu yes i plan out my meals for every day because i need to then i have this home sweet home sign i bought from target as well with this pink wreath on the door that i actually made from dollar tree and then over here is just some more spring and Easter decorations. Now we are upstairs and this is the loft area. So we have our old couch that we used to have in our living room in our old house. It is now upstairs in our loft. Then over here, it's kind of a mess. I haven't gotten around to clean it up, but this is my desk and then we have a TV up there. So I still need to organize that corner, but I never have time, so I'll get to it eventually. Then over here, we are about to walk in to Ryan and Madison's bathroom. I still have a few more things I would like to do with it, but like I said, we have just been so busy, but for now, I think it looks cute. I want it to incorporate different colors, but also make it a bathroom for both boy and girl. Right here, I just have two frames, one that says Splish Blast and taking a bath, and then a picture of them in the bubble bath a few years back. And the curtain and the rug I bought from Target and I love it. I think it's really cute and it goes for both boys and girls. are about to walk into Ryan's room. This is Ryan's bedroom. It is actually connected to the bathroom, which is good when he has to use the restroom in the middle of the night. He can just get up and go. But his room is very boyish. It has Paw Patrol. He's obsessed with Paw Patrol. And then I did hang up a few things on the wall. I still have a lot more to do to his room. Then this is Madison's room. If you remember before, it was gray. We painted it pink. Then my husband did build this bed, which I love. It's so cute. We built this bed for Madison. It took forever, took months to do, but we did build it out of metal, or he built it, I didn't build it. And then over here is just her toy chest, and then she has a nightstand with a picture frame. And I can't put too much on there because she likes to grab and throw things, so she just has a picture frame there. Then over here, she has her rocking chair from when she was a baby and then her TV, and then this is her dresser. And I have a few things on top of her dresser. It usually doesn't stay, she always pulls it down, but I do have some decoration on her dresser. And then a picture of her when she was a newborn. I think she was maybe like three hours old in that picture. Now we are walking into the master bedroom, which is mine and my husband's bed, and we did not get new furniture. The kids got new furniture, but we didn't. So as you guys can see, this is our furniture from our old house in our old room. We still need to buy new nightstands. Hopefully that will be soon. I have my jewelry chest and then my long mirror right here, and then our dresser and TV. My dresser is so old, it's like 10 years old, so we're gonna try to sand it down and also paint it. And this is our bathroom looking very, very bare. We have not hung up anything on the walls or really decorated in here. So hopefully I will get around to doing that very soon. But this is the master bathroom and I do have a few things up, but not much. Okay guys, so that ends today's video of my updated home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time.